In this video, we're going to find dy. So all we basically do is take the derivative and call it dy. At the very end, we put a dx. So let's do it. So dy. So to take this derivative, we're going to use the quotient rule. So recall the quotient rule says if you have two functions, f over g prime, it's the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom, all over the bottom one squared. So that is the quotient rule. You can think of this as the top or the first function, and you can think of this as the bottom or the second. So it's the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom over the bottom squared. So the derivative of the top piece is just 1 times the bottom piece. So 5x minus 3, then minus the top piece. So x plus 1 times the derivative of the bottom, so 5. At the very bottom, we have the bottom piece squared. So 5x minus 3, and that whole thing is squared. And then it's really important to put a little dx here at the end. If you're wondering, wait a minute, you don't put the dx until you take the derivative. You could think, okay, we just took the derivative, so we put a dx. You can also think of it a different way. Watch this. When we took the derivative of the first piece, we had a dx here. And when we took the derivative of the bottom piece, we had a dx here. So in theory, you can factor out the dx and you can just put it at the end. So it's okay when you use the quotient rule or the product rule to simply just take the derivative and put the dx there. There's nothing wrong with that. All right, good stuff. So let's see what happens here. 5x minus x, that's going to be 4x. So we have 4x minus 3 minus 1. Oh, I almost I messed up. Check it out. I forgot about the 5. So this is really 5x minus 5x. So they cancel. In fact, let me go ahead and show that step. So minus 5x. Mm, easy to mess up. I almost did. I did and I caught it. So that's the important thing. So 5x minus 3 squared dx. Boom, boom. Beautiful. So this is equal to negative 8 over 5x minus 3 quantity squared dx. That's how pros do it without messing up. I hope this video has been helpful to anyone out there in the world who is working on this stuff. This is a harder example because it involves the quotient rule. Most of these problems with differentials are usually pretty easy. That's it. Take care.